Okay, and welcome to this video brought to you by Les Arnott Photography. And what I'm looking at today is a new program um, that's coming out very soon called Lumina 4. It's not available to the public, either in beta version or the full, the full program at the moment, and it does get released very shortly, which I'll tell you about in a moment. But I'm an ardent fan of Photoshop and Lightroom. However, despite this, I know there's a lot of people out there who do not like the idea of Creative Cloud Plan, where you have to make a monthly or a yearly payment to use the software. And there's also a lot of people who are put off by the complexity and the learning curve required to use it, and prefer something that you pay for once and own, and also be able to produce great results by, by simply dragging a couple of sliders to achieve an instant good look. And being a full-time tutor and now a part-time tutor in photography and photography software, I can safely say I know the good, the bad and the ugly of photography software. And there are many that I personally use from time to time. And this program, Lumina, used various versions before and I've always liked it and I've, I've often gone to it for, to give me some nice quick results without having to do too much work if I need to do that. Having said that, and I'm saying it's a, a simple program, it's by no means unprofessional. It, it approaches image enhancement in a slightly different way. It uses some fantastic artificial intelligent tools. And that to me is brilliant for, for a lot of people. <clears throat> it means you can create great photos just by doing a quick couple of tweaks, sliding a bar, and getting instant results, instant good results, not bad results. However, below the bonnet, there's some very other powerful adjustments, both along the more traditional methods and the use of AI. And obviously, you can merge the two parts of the program together as well. You can use the old methods of so the sliders and the shadows and all that, or you can use the methods that I'm going to show you in a moment. This comes out on the 18th of November 2019 and it comes out with these amazing upgrades. So Lumina 3 is still a great program and you can, I think if you purchase that, I think you get the update to Lumina 4 when it comes out. You can also pre-order at the moment. Um, so you can pre-order the program. I think you get a, a year subscription to uh, SmugMug as well if you free if you sign up for that at this particular time and you also get it at a slightly different price you get it a little bit cheaper if you pre-order it the company have given me this pre-release software program so I can show you videos of how it works before it actually comes out and can go over it and, and see how good it is now it will improve probably a little bit it may look slightly different this is the latest release so don't expect it to change too much so in this video i'm not going to show you the, the full way the program is installed or how you use it as a browser etc i will do videos on that but i'm simply going to show you how i can easily tweak a couple of more images very easily and quickly and make them look really good in just a very very short time so if we look at the right hand side we've, we've got the browser on the left hand side there that can be viewed in many different ways and i say i'm not going to go over those at the moment but basically i've got my images on the left and i've selected an image and this is the one that i'm going to edit on the right hand side we've got essentials we have got buttons for creative we have got buttons for portraits and also a pro button for various other things you can do. Um, if we go to the essentials, the main ones I'm going to look at here, the AI in Ants, because this is something that I've used since the program came out. It has had this in Ants in. I expect it's got much better in the way that it works. But these artificial, artificial intelligent tools are fantastic in, in how they work. So I'm just going to click on Enhance there. And you can see we've got two sliders, artificial intelligence, or AI accent, and AI sky in answer. So let's just drag this up and see what it does. Obviously, if we go overboard. The nice thing about this program, well, one thing I notice is the, the effects aren't too over the top. So 
you know, obviously the higher you go up, if we go all the way, perhaps that's a little bit, you know, a little bit came towards the nasty part, but that doesn't come in till quite late. So with a lot of programs, you get these effects and they simply get, start to get nasty quite early on. But but this doesn't. It's it's quite gentle in its approach. Okay, so and then we've got the sky enhancer. So I can enhance the sky simply by dragging this up. And if we look before and after, so that's before and that's after, straight away I've got a nice looking image simply by using those sliders. I haven't had to make a mask if, like you're doing Photoshop to to edit the sky or anything like that. It automatically selects it. So that's clever and, and very nice. And then you've got other things like uh, AI structure. So if you want to add a bit of structure to it, I probably wouldn't with an image like this, but you, you may want to lessen it. So you can lessen the effect or you can boost it a little bit, which gives you some pretty sharp uh, structure to, to the image, which some people like, I'm not too keen. So I wouldn't go high with that, but it depends on the type of image. Obviously with the architecture, that's quite good that it does that because you can get some nice effects with that. And then you've got a boost to make it stronger. And then you've got other things on here, uh, the color. So you can adjust the color and whatever you can remove color cast and add saturation vibe. And so just like these are, are more like the the things that you, you get in the other software, like Lightroom and, and whatever, you've still got those there. You've got denoise, so you can, you can denoise the image and take out a little bit of the noise and colour denoise and, and whatever. So all those are available, as they are in most other programs. But the quick methods that I've started with gives you a great image straight away. And that's, that's really useful. If, if you... For people who are shooting JPEG, for instance, you probably wouldn't get quite as much power out of it. This is um, so you can edit your RAWs in here straight away. You can go into your RAW file, which is what I've just done. So this is a RAW file, a Canon RAW file. You can see CR2, so it's that is a, a Canon file, and it's done the business and it's done it very nicely. You know, some RAW editors are horrible, but. Just using the, the AI side of the program, straight away it's given me a nice image from the raw file and I could save that or, or do whatever. So that's nice. But what else is there? Now we're going to go over the top now and, and, and these can be a little bit, uh, some photographers sort of treat them as toys or whatever, but it's nice that they're there, that you haven't got to use them if you don't want them. And I think that's some people, people uh, slate programs for putting these type of things in, but they're there to use if you wish to. And sometimes that can be very useful. And one of those, if we go to the, let's have a look, we go to the creative part of the program, we've got these things. So we've got sunrise, you can put sunrise in there. You've got dramatic, your matte look and mystical and all these different things but the AI one sky replacement let's just have a quick look at this because this is something really amazing and it may be something that you're not happy with or, you know some people don't like doing this but the good thing about this is that you can edit the sky without doing any masks or having any experience like you, you require in, in Photoshop and other programs it just does it for you so First of all, we can select a sky. So we've got these different skies. Let's go for sunset one. Straight away, it's masked out this area perfectly. We zoom in there. There's no nastiness in that at all. You can't see the joins like my wig. No, don't wear one really. But straight away, it's done the job. And you can just change the sky. So if I go to this, let's just do a, another dramatic sunset, we get something like that straight away. It's done the same thing. But also, we can load a custom sky image. And that means if you take your own pictures of your skies that you see and, and save those, you can load a custom sky image and put that on there. So that is really good because if you're in something like a photography club or something like that, they don't allow you, they do allow you to edit photos 
in some cases, in, in, in most competitions, they will allow you to edit images. But you really would be cheating if you use these skies. <laughs> and I don't, I don't think it would go down very well if you did. But if you take your own pictures of your skies, there is absolutely nothing wrong with loading a, your own image in there and using it as the sky replacement. So very, very good. Uh, you know, not something that some people would use, but it's there if you want it. And if I just turn this off, there we go, back with the original sky, which actually suits the image anyway, so you haven't got to do nothing. So if we just click this eye at the top, that's before and that's after. And you can see just by using those sliders that we've used, and some of those I probably wouldn't use, like I wouldn't uh, put much drama on it, I would probably like it a little bit more natural and get something like that. Just one slider, the enhance slider, done that in, in one power sweep. So really nice software, great for not only beginners, but you know, it's got advanced features in there. It's got all the features for editing that you would find in the other programs like Lightroom and whatever. It's just looks completely different, works completely different, but it does the job. You can also, when you use the browser, you got, you know, you can score your images and whatever, rate them. So people who do that, you know, you can, you've still got that side of function that you've got in Lightroom in, in similar programs. And the browser is really nice as well. You can, you know, I'm not going to go into that now because I'll be going into too much, but, you know, you can, you can tweak. Let's just have a look at this car. Now, this is not really a very good image at all. But we'll just um, we'll have a look. So I just go back into the AI enhance and I drag it up. You see, it's boosting things, making it look really nice. Obviously, the sky isn't there, and it's not going to let me do it because it's not detected a sky. So that's pretty amazing. It's showing that the programs are working. It's looking at things. And um, so with that one, I mean, it was a puzzling focus, terribly good. It wasn't, it was just a car going past me that I wanted to catch. But you see, just that little tweak brings out a life. You know, it's uh, it's almost usable. <laughs> I would never use it because I don't, uh, I don't think it's sharp enough. Uh, it wasn't in focus as such, but there we go. So let's just see if I can find something else just to... Uh, Obviously, most people know I'm associated with Arbis Mice. <laughs> uh, let's just have a look at a quick look on that. So, just dragging this up just a little bit, just a tiny bit, one slider, nothing else. Let's look at before and after. Magic, isn't it? You know, it's it's so clever that it's doing such a good job. And I might put a vignette around that just to take down these highlights on the side. So, I'll click on vignette and I can drag the amount, make it darker on that side, so I've got advanced settings as well, so I could feather it, and do all these different things that you can do in most other programs. And there you've got a nice image, straight from the camera, that's just a raw file, I haven't cropped it or done anything like that, but straight away if we look at the before and after now, that's before, that's after. Much nicer. Great software. Love it. So I will be actually giving links to this very soon on my website so people can purchase it. And that helps me because it helps get me a little bit of money to provide you with the videos that I produce for you to look at and learn from. So we both win if you, if you do that. And you can just use the links to download and try the program without actually purchasing it. You know, you can you can actually go on there and try it out first. Uh, you can't do it at the moment because it's not released, but you will be able to do that. If you want to jump in right now, you can do that, obviously, and you can get a little bit of a saving. But if you'd rather wait till it comes out and try it out before you buy it, that's probably the way to go. And it's not too much 
more of a price. I think I think it's like I say around 70 to 80 pound. Uh, I will check that up and put the price on the video at the end of it and give it a look. Give it a look out when it comes up. You could also try the trial version for Lumina 3, which is very, very good, you know, and it will give you some idea of the power of the quick diagram. What I've just done there, you can do in Lumina 3, you can, you've still got those um, light buttons and whatever to drag and use to enhance your image, as I've just, just done there. So, something to think about, you know, if you don't want a creative cloud license, you don't want to pay monthly, you know, I will never throw it away Adobe. I just love it. I've worked with it for that long, but I do use this. This is something that I do use. I like to have more than one software. I like to have some backup program or something that I use to get quick instant results. And this does that. Does that. I mean, I can get similar in Lightroom. You know, but I've got to tweak things. I haven't just got those sliders where I can drag them up and it looks that good. I'm going to be totally honest. I can get it looking that good, but it's going to take me time. So it is good for that respect, and, and I love it for that. And the other good thing is not only do, is this a standalone program, but it, it also comes with uh, filters that you can, when you install it, it will install the, the filter, so you can use it as a plug-in filter within Lightroom and Photoshop. So they are available in plug-in form, and that comes with the program when, when you purchase it. So when you install it, you can just select what programs you want it to put the plugins in and it will do that. So if you're a user and you want to know to use Photoshop and use it this within Photoshop, you can do that. So something to think about, your decision, but it is very nice, I will say that.